All right, boys. It's been too long, man. Without creating a video. Um, and I'm going to be totally honest. And not, you know, just make up some random excuse. I've been a lazy shit, bro. Totally honest. I've only worked out, like, last week, one time on the Friday. And obviously it's Friday again and I haven't worked out since. So today, we're just going to get off there, man. At least a quick workout. Just get the blood flowing, man. And not just stay dull. <laughs> In my room, working or whatever. Just got exercise, man. And I've been telling you guys for, you know, the past month or whatever. Oh, you gotta stay disciplined, take action. And I've not even been taking action myself. So yeah, bro, I've just been a lazy, lazy mofo, really, man. Nothing much else to say. And not even sticking to my diet, to be honest. Eating absolute crap and bro honestly it compounds like maybe one day okay it's fine like a cheat day or something like that but bro if you keep doing it two weeks it will compound man but yeah bro just you know, remember this stuff compounds man you know eating badly getting off your diet and you know watching movies that sort of thing man honestly now that I've been at both ends I can totally realize how I've actually done that and I don't want to I don't even want to work out today bro but I said to myself I need to I just need to do something man you can't be staying in that same position for weeks on Weeks upon weeks, man. That's the main thing. Just gaining momentum. At the end of the day. Just doing something, man. Staying active. And working towards your goal. No matter how small, man. Like me, I haven't been uploading. Probably two, three. I think nearly three weeks, actually. And... I feel terrible, honestly. Because it was really a routine I made up just recording even if it was a quick video if I was busy that day I'll just get down to it and you know just record something quick and then I'll be out like one day oh just leave it man I'll do it tomorrow tomorrow comes you know what happens man and it's been two weeks since so I'm annoyed at myself but you can't get those two two weeks back just like you can't get years back if you waste them yourself man so, I thought I'd just do something different instead of waffling, bro. Basic thing. I'm just going to go through kind of a full body workout thing. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? Because I haven't worked out in a uh, week. So, I won't record the warm-up sets. But I'm, I may record, like, the, the heavier sets. And I'm going to do... Just so you guys, you you're aware, I'll be I'll do like incline bench with the dumbbells. That's my preferred. Uh, and obviously we're at home today, and I'll do some sort of row for back. Um, I do have that bar if you can see that. So I think that's ten fifteen kg. That's it feels good when you actually use that as a rowing movement compared to dumbbells. But I'll see how I'm feeling, and then. What else is it? Obviously a squat. What I do is a front squat. So I'll show you. I'll probably show you that. The heaviest one. But it feels good man. And I know I'm going to feel awesome after this workout. And eat some eggs. And just get back to it man. That's what I just wanted to show you guys. And be real man. There's not enough real people on. I guess the whole internet. On YouTube man. But yeah. So enough waffling. Let's get into it man. All right, so I've just done two warm up sets. So I did the nine kg and eleven, just very light. Obviously, because I haven't been doing much pressing movements, 
And yeah, let's get into how much did I do? Probably 27. Actually, let's not be thingy. What do you call it? Scared of the weights. I'm just gonna do 29. I can do it, man. I used to be able to press a lot, but my shoulders a bit. Lately, past few weeks, I can hear that crunching. But yeah, let's do it. That was a lot heavier than normal. Bro, that shows. Honestly, not working out for quite a long time. And not staying consistent. Not really consistent because only the past couple, two weeks. And before that, I was doing probably six, seven days a week. And even in the past two weeks, imagine, I've got I've gotten a lot weaker. So... Yeah, it shows, man. But normally after that, I just drop the weight down a bit and focus more on the stretch. Um, so yeah, let's do that. Alright, so that's the heavy pressing of chest done. Now I'm going to use this big ass Olympic ball that I got in COVID for rows. And I'm going to do more inverted. I'll just show you guys how that is. Um, I prefer pendulum rows to be honest. It just feels better. But I think I'll just do rows today. And... Mainly what I do, obviously, because I don't have a rack here. Not yet, at least. Um, just act like you're doing the deadlift. But obviously, when you're warming up, you don't really need to. Just grab the bar and just bend down. Pause. But yeah. And I'll show you guys, like, probably the heavy, heaviest set of mine. Either 30 or 40 kg with the bar, so probably 50-ish, kind of. Um, but yeah. Let's get into it. One thing to remember as well is for rows, warming up is essential, man. You're definitely going to pull something, especially in your lower back, maybe. So be wary of that and make sure you warm up at least two warm up sets and then start your working set. Just a quick tip, um, but yeah, I think I might do a an overhand one as well now, just for a bit of back, um, upper back, because I'm not going to do another exercise for back. I'll probably move on to squats, just front squats with the dumbbell, it's just easier. Then, well, I don't have a rack to rely on as well when I fail, so it's just more sensible to be honest. And then I'll probably do some isolation ones. All right, so with the front squat, what I do is, well, I tried the goblet one, you know, goblet squats, which is where you hold it in front of you, but that's apparently not really 
good for like muscle hypertrophy or whatever you want to call it. Um, so using front squat, I just do it like that basically. I mean, it's self explanatory, and then I'll just show you guys obviously. All right, so it's just a warm up, obviously. So just do this, and I mean, you can do that if you want, but yeah. I just make sure it's stable as well because obviously with these dumbbells as well they're massive so it's a bit thingy and how you squat is feet I would say two hands width something like that apart and just All right, so now I'm gonna do the 15s. These are quite hard as well. Imagine 30 kg holding it like that. Obviously 15 on each, but yeah. Um, yeah, let's get into it. And one thing to actually remember, even though you can't see me, but well, you can't see my face, well, is when you pick up dumbbells, this is a thing I had to learn the hard way by putting my back probably like two or three times. Is I'll just show you. Just go down, pick them up like this. If it's from the ground like this, obviously, you don't have a bench, then back straight like that, right? Otherwise, you're gonna absolutely break your back, bro. So, while I'm here. That is tough that it looks. Especially after not doing that for a few days, bro. But yeah, I think I'll do one more. Slightly lower weight, probably 13, 11 kg. Um, oh, and if you're wondering why the weights are so weight, it's because of the it's adjustable ones that I brought. So yeah. So next exercise you'll probably see what are we gonna do? Oh yeah, we need to do shoulder. Probably do lateral raises because pressing already done and doesn't feel too good. So yeah, see you then, bro. All right, so lateral raises now. Well, lateral raises. So yeah, I'll just show you guys how I do. Probably the safest way to be honest, because I see people doing this. Well, you don't need to do that, bro. Keep your you know, feet straight and back straight as well. I mean, you can brace your core if you want, but it's on your ice. Uh, you know, it's not really a combat movement, so you don't have to if you don't want to. And. You know dumbbells in front of it these are a bit big so obviously that's why i do it too a bit more in front than normally if i was at the gym and then just like that and i have to go a bit forward on these because the garage the door's right there so so yeah simple For these lightweight works definitely more and a lot of people say that as well you don't really need to go hard on these so yeah just to warm up as well because 
feel that twinge in the left shoulder. It's always the last one though. Every time. Yeah, hell no. Not even, I'm not gonna do push-ups as well. I use these things. These. You can get them for like under 10 quid or something. I don't know, I bought these a long time ago. But I use those for extra squeeze on the chest. It feels amazing when you do it. But I just tried one very partially and man could feel. So not happening today. Unfortunately, no matter how much I like that. But you can see bro, I already feel better. And just done a few exercises. So we're probably just gonna do I'll have to see on the pull-ups as well and be careful. Because your shoulder's kind of involved as well, if you do involve it. So we'll do that if it goes alright. Then I think I'll just do dumbbell instead of barbell. That's a much safer option as well. Just do some hammer curls and normal curls. Alright, some bicep curls. Also like to mix in a bit of hammer curls, I guess. So that's biceps done. I just did pull ups and some warm up sets with that. And then what you just saw there. Also, not going too hard today. Obviously, because first workout in like a week, as I said. And yeah. But I do like doing tricep with the the dumbbells and then super saying that with biceps so I'll probably do that as well so I guess that's a bit of more just arm work um, so yeah that's what we'll do next just a warm up one to see how it feels also just started doing these as well I used to do them at the beginning when I started going to the gym but then I used the cables and the ropes a lot more and now that I work out mainly at home um, I started doing you know close grip bench with the tries and a bit of chest That's, that feels very good but I'm not going to lie I'm very lazy in it so. <laughs> And today is just about getting one win under my belt, man. And that's the gym. And working out and exercising, man. So it's only a focus on uh, what exercise need I do. I didn't do that. Um, you know. Oh, oh, I'll be here the whole day thinking about what I could have done, right? So it's just about getting out there and doing it, man. And starting to get a bit of momentum. Today, I guarantee you, I already feel better, obviously. So, after I've finished, I'm going to feel fantastic. And eat some healthy eggs. And yeah, I'm already going to feel better, man. So, let's do, an, I think, another warm up set. This dumbbell is massive, so you have to like work around it, I guess. That was a heavy warm up. <laughs> but yeah, we'll do to failure the next one. <clears throat> 
and then probably superset two as well with the bicep curls and then we're nearly done so let's do it also pro tip stay hydrated kids and what i do as well is because i love to train well i don't love it but i just feel better sometimes i'm actually fasted right now just water and i usually put salt but i'm not gonna lie i forgot to put salt in today and yeah so that keeps you hydrated as well but and the salt it's an electrolyte natural instead of buying all these other priced ones online you can just get a pink himalaya not the bloody fish and chips <laughs> salt that's gonna give you sodium poisoning or whatever but yeah because i used to the reason i say that is when i went to the gym i used to well i would actually eat things can't even see me yeah so i used to even eat like probably weebix or some random crap that people used to tell you is healthy for breakfast and then i would still like cramp up and i would wonder why and because obviously electrolytes are depleted when you wake up and i would go gym straight away not straight away obviously like you know do all the normal shit and then go but main thing is i used to sometimes i even I remember i used to faint a few times not like fully but you know how it is like once you're exerting yourself and you go then you just feel like you know you're gonna fall over or something but obviously i used to not fall over but it definitely used to feel weird like i was gonna faint so and then i started just putting a pinch of salt that helps you keep rehydrated and yeah makes the water you know go to your all parts of your body i don't know the scientific literature of that but bro science in so yeah let's do the hard set of tricep extensions and probably do like a medium weight uh, 9 11 kg of superset and then we're nearly done all right 15 kg here as well i don't think i've ever done this but maybe in the gym but these ones are you know you can see how big they are it's a bit different but enough of the excuses yeah this is gonna be heavy doing neck neck curls now and i'll show you guys how i do mine i'm sure people have different versions of whatever but this is how i started doing mine a few weeks ago and it actually feels good so instead of using like a cloth or something i just put my hood up conveniently and place the plate at the back of my head do about 50 of them on the back I do the, I do this one more because obviously we're creatures that, why oh, am I getting all weird? With people that you know, um, you spend a lot of your time, you know, looking downwards, so it makes sense, I guess. Well, in my eyes, it, it makes sense, so I don't know about you. And yeah, start off with just, I'll just show you guys. Just warm up, I guess, if you want. So you can just go on the edge if you like that. You can do whatever you want with your hands, really. I just, you know, whatever. Doesn't matter. And, and if you really want to get the contraction, go back down a bit more. Slowly up. 
So let me show you guys how I do my neck curls. Just put your plate there. Somewhere comfortable. It's obviously not going to be very really comfortable because I'll be there. And then. Alright, so I'm going to do front curls now. Don't want to bore you guys with that. So I think that'll be it for the video today. Just wanted to show you, you know. It's all about momentum, bro. Uh, and just getting things done. Like, I've gotten through this workout even though I didn't want to. And, yeah, man. You just got to do it, man. It's the main thing. And so, if you're interested, I was just going to do, you know, 50-ish front curls and maybe do more back ones and then some some form of core exercise as this full body obviously and yeah i'll be done and then just make my eggs and i'll probably show you guys another time how i do that but it's pretty simple you know four or five eggs butter coconut oil one of them obviously you don't use both and then that's about it so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video and yeah let me know in the comments and hopefully i'll be more consistent and yeah hope you boys had a good day and you worked out as well and i'll see you guys in the next one